when we meditate, we keep our eyes closed so we can focus full attention on the breath. But that doesn't mean we keep our eyes closed all the time. As John Fuang told me when I first went to stay with him, being a Dharma practitioner means learning lots of skills, not just the meditation. And a lot of the skills are involved with what we do around the monastery, what needs to be done. And John Lee had a nice quote. He said, you want to make your eyes as large as the monastery. Be on the lookout for things that are not in place, things that are not in order. And that's an important part of the practice, too. You get used to cleaning up around you and looking out for the needs of other people around you. And that gets you more sensitive to what needs to be cleaned up inside. Because you have this habit of looking in all directions. Because even though when you're meditating your eyes are closed, your mind has to be looking in all directions. Alertness is a quality of watching the breath, but also watching the mind as it watches the breath. Watching thoughts as they form, seeing what the thought is about, but also seeing how the thought is formed. And when the thought comes in the mind, then seeing how the mind latches onto it or doesn't. And if it does latch onto it, what happens as a result? You have to see the whole story all around. And so you develop this habit by the way you look around outside. Check out what needs to be done. There are lots of places where it hasn't been assigned to sweep, but sometimes it needs sweeping. It hasn't been assigned that this person is responsible for cleaning out the garbage can or cleaning out the waste paper basket. Well, cast an eye. If nobody's responsible, then take it on you as your, your responsibility. Because this voluntary spirit is an important, important part of living together. There's nobody here because we've been hired. Back in the Buddhist time, that was a term of dismissal. You know the story of Nanda. The Buddha promised him that if he practiced the Dharma, after he died he'd get nymphs. The other monks find out about this and they call him a hireling, practicing the Dharma for wages. So we're all here voluntarily. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and it's best done if it's voluntary. So we don't need a monk with a clipboard going around, or a layperson with a clipboard going around saying, you have to do this, you have to do that. Everybody casts an eye around, and everything gets done that way. It makes a better place to live. You see a spot that's been cleaned, you know it's been cleaned, not because someone was told to clean it, but because someone wanted to clean it. That's refreshing to the mind.